My name is Melinda Leslie. I'm a researcher, researcher of the covert ops, reverse engineering of extraterrestrial abductees, and everything I'm about to tell you is the truth to the best of my knowledge. My research is about the covert ops and intelligence community military involvement in the harassment, surveillance, and reabduction of abductees for the purpose of reverse engineering extraterrestrial abductees to gain information that these covert ops types are looking for. This involves everything from harassment and surveillance to reabduction where they are then picked up and abducted not by extraterrestrials this time, but by humans to be interrogated about their experiences with extraterrestrials. And this happens to people who have had the extraterrestrial abduction experience. Uh, someone is, you know, typically referred to as an abductee. They've had an experience where they have been picked up by aliens. Uh, this usually happens throughout their life more than once, but granted, some people have it happen just once, but many people have it continually. Uh, alien abductions involve many things. They can involve everything from the, the production of hybrid children, being uh, having eggs and sperm taken from you. If an abductee has seen technology, then they're going to be very interested in that. The covert ops and military have developed, back-engineered, extraterrestrial technology from crash retrievals and and other programs where they have been monitoring the technology and have tried to duplicate it themselves and have successfully done so and have, have built and flown craft that are UFO for all you know, intensive purposes, but that they, um, that they have built this themselves. Again, these are humans who have re-picked you up because you've had a very real alien experience. And uh, they may do, like I said, medical procedures on you. They're looking for what did the aliens do to you genetically? Did they enhance you genetically? Did they alter you? Um, if the aliens performed some kind of surgery on you, these military guys may then be looking at what was performed on you and why. <clears throat> and again, this whole genetic part is a big component of both the alien experience and of the military reabduction experience. And then what they're ultimately doing is then looking for information on the alien agenda, alien motives, and alien technology. Another big aspect of this is a psi component, PSI, meaning psychic, that they're looking for, does the abduct, how does the abductee communicate with the aliens telepathically? Or how do they manipulate matter with their mind? Did the aliens set them down at a control panel and instruct them how to fly the ship? And if they flew the ship, how were they able to do that? These military guys seem to be really pressing for this information that they want to know, how are we able to do it? The door is broken open, the front door, and I'm in the living room on a futon bed. And, and I have photos of this where they did all this damage to the door when they broke in. They damaged the door lock, the door frame, they, they pulled it apart, they did all this stuff when they, when they tried to get in the door. Next thing I know, is there's four guys in black jumpsuits with helmets on with night vision goggles on the front of those helmets. Like they're like a night vision goggle that flips up, it was down. And so they're running around the apartment with night vision goggles. Two of them come to me. Two of them go down the hallway where my friend is. Her master bedroom, that's where she is. They go down the hallway. So I assume they're going to her. Two come to me. I, I start to go, ah, and, you know, yell or whatever. Next thing I know is I'm stuck in the neck by something with two prongs that when this thing hit me, kind of right where the neck and shoulder, right there, me, when it hit me, all of a sudden, all my muscles tensed up. So you understand what we mean. I have someone I want you to meet. He takes me out of that room, takes me into a, another room adjacent to it with like an examination table. And he says, sit here. He goes to the door, opens the door, and I see him look down the hallway and wave somebody who I can't see. And he waves this guy in. 
I'm sitting there on this examination table, just scared to death. And he says, so you understand what I mean? I, there's someone I want you to meet. I'm thinking this is going to be a general, a president. You know, I know somebody who they're going to, is going to impress upon me the significance of not talking. And I expect it to be some high-ranking person or a scientist or something. He opens the door and in walks this large reptilian alien. Big guy, like seven feet tall, like a football linebacker, broad shoulders, but covered in scales, had a crest on his head, had reptilian eyes that were yellow with the vertical slit, had a, a kind of a snout, not real long, but, but you know, like even snakes have a, have a, like a snake snout, like that. Scales, he made this weird noise, like this weird, like purring, growling noise. I'm hearing in one piece, so what I'm about to tell you didn't actually happen, okay? But next thing I know, is I think I'm being raped and pulled apart by him. First brutally raped and then takes, he has these black fingernails, black nails, and he slices my face open, slices me open here, guts are coming out, I'm bleeding, takes this arm off, rips it out of its socket, I see him pull it out of its socket, and I'm screaming. I, th I think I've just been raped and blue brutally murdered. So something about the sound he made and being in my face projected this image that I was being brutally raped and murdered. And at that point I was able to break whatever that image was and he backed off. And he stands there looking at me and he kind of goes like that kind of. It was really weird. Like he had wanted to do that and he was disappointed that he, whatever. It was very scary. He backs off and goes out. The other guy comes in and says, if you don't stop talking about this, next time we will let him do what he wanted to.